wonderful day to you people of God. It's daily charge with the month in top live daily devotional. This Tuesday, the 18th day of June 2024. And our topic for today's charge is divine intervention. Divine intervention. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, the ancient of days, the almighty, the one that was, is, and is to come, we give you praise. We give you glory. We adore your name. Be greatly lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for all you do. It has always been you. We owe everything to you. Therefore, accept our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus. Father, through today's church, may it please you to prosper us greatly in this life and in eternity. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Divine intervention divine intervention um, the memory first for today is found in the book of psalms psalm number one two one verses one and two psalm one two one one and two i will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The Lord who created the heaven, who created the earth, and everything in them. That is the one I look to. Is the one that has the capacity to meet my need. He has the capacity. He has what it takes. He created everything and created them in abundance. Is there anything I need that he does not have? There is no impossibility in him. He is the one who exists from eternity to eternity, from everlasting to ever everlasting. He is the one that supports everything and nothing is supporting him. He is the front and the back. He is the beginning and the last. He is everything in himself. That's all it takes. So I will lift my eyes unto him. No matter how precarious the situation is, no matter how hopeless, he has the capacity to turn things around. It's a great thing to have God as a father. I pray for you. You will not suffer like those who don't have God as their father. In the name of Jesus. My help coming from the Lord. After all, he's the one that created everything. Uh, the motivational quote for today's church says, Always remember that Jesus can do anything for you. He can do anything. He has what it takes to do anything. He has power to do anything. Have that understanding. And always bring it to remembrance. Do whatever you need to do with this consciousness. That Jesus has capacity to do anything for you. There is nothing too hard. He said, 
with men. This is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. He said it. He cannot lie. And he said it. He's always faithful to his word. I pray for you. The faithfulness of God will always work for you. The scripture cannot be broken. It is your battle that can be broken. It is the curse troubling you that can be broken. It is that evil covenant that will be broken. Not the settled word of God. I pray for you. Whatever your need may be. That will bring glory to the name of the Lord. God will attend to it today. In the mighty name of Jesus. The prophetic word today. Is a prayer for help. And I expect you to say a big amen to it. I speak as one having authority. Receive divine help in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Our fire scripture for today's church is found in the book of Luke, the Gospel of Luke chapter 7. The Gospel of Luke chapter 7. I'll be reading from verse 11 through 17. 11 to 17. Luke 7, 11 to 17. And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain. And many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now, when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother. And she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not, weep not, verse 14. And he came and touched the bear, and they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God has visited his people. Verse 17. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. This was a widow woman with only one son, no husband, nobody, and the only son remaining with her, the only source of her joy and comfort, the only hope she had, the only future she had, the only helper, human helper she had died hmm. great people great multitude gathered unto him nobody could help nobody could help the people he had around were people to mourn with her people to help her to go and bury her joy to bury her future to bury her hope those were the people around him and they were helping her to go and do that when the king of kings and the lord of lords appeared on the scene the bible says jesus had compassion on him i pray for you you will be a candidate of divine compassion today and that will place situation in your life will be turned around to the glory of god in the name of jesus you will not die in this position you will not die helpless. You will not die expecting. You will not die struggling. May you receive help today in Jesus' name. 
beloved, we are going to have a breather now. And when we come back, we continue. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Top Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back to Daily Church. Our topic still is divine intervention. Divine intervention. What is divine intervention, beloved? It is when God suddenly appears and allows an occurrence to happen or to be prevented from happening. When God appears in a situation and then something happens or something is prevented from happening, something good happens or something bad is stopped from manifesting, that is divine intervention. It is God stepping into your crisis to produce miracles and testimonies. When God steps into your situation and then miracles happen for you, testimony spring up for you. That is what we call divine intervention. What is divine intervention? It is even coming to help you and turning your mess to a beautiful message. Divine intervention is God offering to help you and save you when the enemy has concluded that you are finished. It is God turning the table against your enemies. When, when they are already rejoicing, when there is satanic revival against you, or your enemies are already rejoicing. They are already celebrating. And then the table is turned. And you now carry the day. The Bible has many references of how God came through to disrupt the plans of the enemies and allowed all things work in favor of those who love him. The Bible is replete with such, such references, such examples. In our fire scripture of today, the widow that Jesus met in the city called Nain. There is no doubt he, she was already. If there is anything we can use to describe uh, something that is more than hopeless, she was not just hopeless. Her case was more than hopeless. More than hopeless. Felt like all her life was crumbling, not just crumbling, was crumbled. Everything crumbled before her eyes. Everything. She must have given up on life. <laughs> but not when Jesus is with you. Jesus intervened. I pray for you. Somebody needs Jesus' intervention today. May you receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. 
faith Jesus stepped in, our hope was restored. I come as a spiritual announcer to somebody. Let there be restoration upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus brought back a dead, a dead son to life. Every good thing that is dead in your life, by the grace of Jesus, will come alive today in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, I don't know the, that area of your life that seems dead. I don't know that thing in your life, that good thing that is dead or that is dying. I don't know whether it is your marriage. I don't know whether it is an organ in the body. I don't know whether it is a relationship. I don't know what it is. You see ministry? You see a career? You see your academic? Whatever it is that is good but dying or dead. Hmm. You see your finances? You see your marital life? Jesus can bring it back to life. He has that capacity and he has that compassion. He has that love. He's full of mercy. He can do it. My prayer today is that I will be willing to do your own and my own in the name of Jesus. There is no situation that has gone too worse for Jesus' intervention. No. No. Remember, the scriptures told us about Lazarus, who was dead for four days. He was dead for four days. And then Jesus appeared on this. He was thinking. He was fast decomposing. Jesus called him forth and he came up whole body, soul, and spirit. He came back old. Came back to life old. There is no situation that has gone too worse for Jesus' intervention. He can help you. He is our very present help in times of trouble. Be sure that he will not close his eyes to your trouble. He will help you out of them all. If you can humble yourself to pray. Humble yourself to pray. I pray for you. God will be willing to do your own in the name of Jesus. Cap the capacity of Jesus to intervene is not in doubt. That's why I'm praying for his willingness to intervene. He will mercifully intervene in your situation in the name of Jesus. Beloved, the Bible says that it is not by might nor by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord. It also says that by strength shall no man prevail. He took God's intervention for Israel to be brought out of 430 years of bondage in Egypt. He took divine intervention for the Jews to be delivered from, the, from a man's planned genocide against them. He took divine intervention for Joseph's dream to be fulfilled. He took divine intervention for Daniel to be saved from untimely death in the lion's den. It also took divine intervention for Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego to be delivered from the fairy furnace. It took divine intervention for mankind to be saved from eternal damnation and for Peter to be saved from Herod's sword. Here yeah, are some important steps you should take to provoke divine intervention. Do you desire divine intervention in your situation, in your affairs, in your marriage, in your academics, in your career, in your calling, in your ministry, in any other department of your life? Note the following. Number one. Surrender your life to Jesus totally, unconditionally, unreservedly. Number two, forsake and renounce your sins. 
forsake them. Renounce and forsake them completely. Don't be like those that keep going back to its vomit. Number three, stop worrying and being anxious. Stop worrying and being anxious. Your anxiety, your worry, your crying will not bring any solution. Therefore, stop worrying. Stop being anxious. And then, you want to provoke divine intervention? <laughs> Engage in violent prayers. Engage in violent prayers. Targeted prayer. Heartfelt prayer. The Bible says, the heartfelt prayer of a righteous man availed much. Know them again. Surrender your life to Jesus. Forsake and renounce your sins. Stop worrying and stop being anxious. Then engage in violent, targeted prayer. I pray for you as you May you experience divine intervention in every area of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, we are going to go on another short break. Then when we come back, we bring this church to a close. Thank you for staying with us. With us. God bless you. Through your handheld gadgets, you can now have access to your daily devotional. The Mountain Up Live for the year 2024, Volume 9. Available through download on the Google Play Store and the iOS App Store. Download yours today. Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional, Volume 9. A life-changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional for 2024 is now available. Volume 9. Get a copy today and some for those you care about and leave your days filled with the presence of the Lord. The Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. Volume 9. Life changing encounter with a God that answered by fire. Get a copy, visit www.mfmebooks.com or any MFM bookshop near you. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely, the Lord is here. Welcome back to Daily Church with the Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. It is still divine intervention. This Tuesday, the 18th day of June, 2024. Beloved, we have been looking at divine intervention. And by now, I am sure that you desire divine intervention so much. And uh, we have considered the steps to take. Steps to take. Surrender your life to Jesus. If so if you are listening to me or watching me now, and you have not done that, kindly do it. Kindly do it. And if you have done it and you are not sure of your stand in Christ, I'll beg you to rededicate your life to you. Jesus. In whatever category you may be, say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know you died for me. I have heard your word and I'm tired of the life of sin and Satan. Save me. Write my name in the book of life. Uphold me to the end and help me to reign with you in eternity. I pray for you. God, we save you. He will keep you to the end in the name of Jesus. If you have said that and you are ready to forsake yourself, please do it from your heart and do not go back. Do away with worrying. Do away with anxiety. Jesus is more than enough for all you need. And then the last thing is to pray. And there are prayers to pray. Pray. And you will see the hand of God. I hope you are ready for that. Say this after me. Say, Father, 
Thank you because you are divinely intervening in my matter in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray this prayer of thanksgiving in the name of Jesus, my Father. Thank you because you are divinely intervening in my matter in the name of Jesus, my Father. Thank you because you are divinely intervening in my matter in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father. Thank you because you are divinely intervening in my matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray another prayer of thanksgiving. Say, Father, I thank you because you are bringing every day situation back to life in my life. In the name of Jesus, my Father, I thank you because I know you are bringing every dead situation back to life. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, I thank you because I know you are bringing every dead situation into life in my life. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Pray this now with aggression. See, oh God, arise and intervene mightily. In Lord, the affairs of my life, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, intervene mightily in every area of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, intervene mightily in all the affairs of my life, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, intervene mightily in all the affairs of my life, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God, arise, intervene mightily in all the affairs of my life in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray pray this with greater aggression beloved see enemies that are hindering my divine help you are liars therefore die in the name of Jesus, every enemy of my divine help, powers, personality, in dream, my divine help, you are liars. Therefore, die, 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 die. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say this loud and clear. Say, O God of divine intervention, appear in my situation today. In the name of Jesus. O God of divine intervention, appear in my situation today. In the name of Jesus. O God of divine intervention, appear in my situation today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I pray for you, the God whom you seek. Today, we suddenly appear in your situation. He will intervene by fire. He will not leave you to yourself. He will not leave you to the will of your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray divine help will locate you. In the name of Jesus, you will not die in this situation. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved, thank you for being with us for today's church. May you remain forever blessed. In Jesus' name, thank you. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.